and he's ready for some Halloween-inspired mad science. Please welcome one of our favorite people on the planet, Science Bob. <laughs> This is uh, Professor Science Bob, yeah. one of the greatest Welcome people to the on adventure. Earth. Okay, right. well, okay. Bob, it's a pleasure. I've heard so much about you. I'm excited. Uh, yeah, we got some science today, and of course, it's Halloween time. It yes. sure I is. I hear you're having a party. We are. You want to come? As am I. As am I. So you oh. can, uh, okay, we we'll can go to, party let's, hop. You're let's having. Go to, let's go to, let's go to, go to Bob's yeah. Instead. We'll go to your after party, yeah. Bob. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah. good. So I figured we'd give you some ideas for your party. These are okay. try at home things you can do. So we have here petri dishes with all of the big bacteria infections. Well, uh, you know, we've got, we got them all covered. throat, salmonella, you know, all the yeah. good stuff there. Oh, um, but, um, uh, of course, I serve these as hors d'oeuvres. <gasps> what do you mean? Yeah, so here, so you can just take one of these. Yeah? And we'll get you a little spoon. Which, wait, what, what do you mean? Um, what that is, is common cold. Go ahead, try it. Wait, is this... Oh, I, Are you oh it's it? so cool. It's jello. Yeah, so all you got to do oh, is you get the little jello. You already have allergies. No, no. Uh, and then you get, you know, we got some frosting. Mm -hmm. You can put that on there and uh, try different things. But, you could uh, probably put vodka in there, too. Uh, you know, <laughs> I mean, what, I, what you make it with, that's all you are. Looking out for us, Kelly. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Always uh, looking out. What else? Now, another thing that I do at my Halloween parties is I go around the house mm -hmm. and I replace all of the light bulbs with ultraviolet light bulbs. Oh. And so nice. black lights, you know what Black lights, black lights. Yes. yeah. So they give off this ultraviolet light and certain things glow under ultraviolet light. Like my uh, teeth. <laughs> Just kidding. So uh, another thing I do is I'll make some lemonade. But mm -hmm. when you make your lemonade, instead of mixing it, like if you're using a powder mix, yeah. instead use tonic water. Okay. And I'll show you why. When you use tonic water, uh, it's got a chemical in it called quinine. Yes. And quinine is what gives tonic water its taste. But it turns out that quinine also glows under ultraviolet light. Is what that the true? Odds? So as people go around at your party, their drinks will glow. And it's it's been hard. We tried a little bit. It's hard for the camera to catch because camera can't see ultraviolet light. Yeah, the camera lights. can't see it. Um, but uh, I'm not sure. It kind of appears to glow. And then if we... Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. <gasps> okay. Cool. We're serving quinine only base drinks. I love it. We are serving quinine drinks. And quinine if we drink drinks. a lot, will our stomachs glow as well? That would be cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, Maybe our livers. Gummy worms in I there, too. I do like a gummy That's worm. Kind of fun. They're delicious. All right, have you ever wondered why alcoholic beverages are called spirits? Yes, why? Why? Why are they called spirits? Well, um, uh, my, I'm going to say that it's because um, they, hundreds of years ago, they trapped spirits in here. <gasps> now, oh. as a scientific educator, there's no uh, scientific evidence of ghosts, but you can still have fun with the concept of it. So yeah. these I got from uh, Gracie Mansion. They're hundreds of years old, and I believe they're spirits trapped inside in these. of these bottles. Okay. Wow. So uh, here's what we're going to do here. Kelly, you come on this side. Okay, well. We're each going to get a bottle. Yeah. Hold on to the, uh, this part of the bottle there. What's right? going to And then we're going to take the lid off. We're gonna, these are hundred-year-old spirits. Okay. okay. You ready? Three, two, two one. one. So we take these off. And oh, see, oh look wow. at that. The spirits are being released. Back. How, how, how? Yeah. Now, how did it show us? You did that. Of course, yeah. So, this, this uh, is, so this cool. is all science here. So, we've got a little uh, uh, hydrogen, high concentrate hydrogen peroxide in there. Okay. And then a little sachet of uh, a chemical called manganese dioxide. Okay. And so, when you guys lifted it up, it dropped the sachet uh, the into sachet it. The sachet fell in. That and created that's the chemical reaction. Fantastic. That's, I mean. So, where? Don't try this at home. This no. Don't try it. We no, can't no. get this at the drugstore. No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> We are back with Science Bob, more Halloween experiments. What yeah. are we doing with this large right. vase beaker? So we got a couple of interesting things here. Uh, I've got some little pedestals here, and on these is red phosphorus, oh. which is a, it's a flammable powder. It's used in matches and flares and things. Yeah. In these flasks, these boiling flasks, is 100% pure oxygen. So we filled it all with oxygen. There's just oxygen yes. in there. Yes. You might see signs in a hospital that say, do not smoke oxygen in use. Yes. Oxygen is not flammable but oxygen helps things burn, and so that's what we're gonna prove. Kay. I'm gonna ignite the phosphorus. Kay. Once I do that, you guys are gonna pop the top off of that and carefully turn it upside ah, down onto and that, we'll and see, we're okay. gonna see how it changes the You sure the you burning. want us to do that? Oh, I totally trust we you. Got okay. You ready? Now. Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay. Stand by. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I knew that was gonna Safety. happen. Safety. All right, there we go. Okay. Now, open it, okay. flip it, Whoa. and watch. Oh. See how the burning increased? Beautiful. It's the wow. Wizard Beautiful. of Oz. 
I love that one. That one's great. That is cool. That's kind of classic we... mad science stuff. It's alive! <laughs> That's and amazing. Old experiment goes we can past, leave it. So we just leave it yeah, there, okay. or will it we'll keep going? Okay. Yeah. Here we uh, go. Finally, the lighting we need. On I know exactly. <laughs> all right, let's do one more. Part. We got a good okay. one here, and okay, uh, we got a helper here. You, of course, yeah. Jay is yeah, going to be helping us. Oh, out. hey! One. I'm st I'm terrified. What about you? All right. So uh, we're going to need your help with a little bit. Then Jay and I are going to do some more. It's a lot of build up for something that lasts relatively short. But okay. That's okay. I'm These so are giant. <laughs> Test tubes here yeah. that are filled with nitrous oxide. This is the stuff when you go to the hospital, right? Yeah. Or you know the doc dentist. Can you yeah. hold on to that? Wait, yeah, are we sure. gonna are, are we gonna on? like sniff it? Uh, no, not yet. Oh. No, no. That's <laughs> Do we later. put these on? Or uh, we not yet. Okay. You can if you want, but we yeah, don't you need can put them on your neck. Put yeah, that's good. I got this. Okay. All right. All right so so I just need you to very yeah. carefully hold that and tilt it. Hold this. Okay. All right. And Jay and I are going to pour a chemical in there called carbon disulfate. Wait, 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 wait. I feel like I should put this on. No? Not yet, not yet. You're okay. good, you're good. All right, can you bend it down a little bit more? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're going to pour this in. Carbon disulfate is very smelly, so I apologize. You will probably smell it. It smells like, oh, I smell it now. Oh. Yeah, oh. not good, not good. Oh, my God. You smell it? It smells like my son's bathroom. <laughs> okay. All right. It's all taped Excellent. up now. Excellent. Now, we're going to take over for this next part because we need to agitate the oh. liquid. Agitate the liquid. I'm, I'm All right. agitated. So, here's how it works. Okay. We need to mix up the chemicals that are in here. So we're going to tilt it back and forth. Oh. Okay. And now we have to vent it because it actually gives off a little bit of uh, gas, extra gas there. You're going to vent it again. Okay. okay. You did? You vented it? You tilt. Oh, I... God. I know, it doesn't smell good. It smells like broccoli cooking. Rank. One more. One more? That's good. All right, so that has mixed it up. Now we're going to put this back in the holder. Okay. Okay. And then you guys come in. Okay. I put my, yeah. There we go. Marvelous. All right, so now we've got a flammable mixture with an oxygen-rich environment. That's exciting stuff. So grab a blowtorch there. There's a little yellow button. Just practice uh, popping that uh, on. On? Okay. All right, nice. All right, step up on the pedestal. Get towards the top. On the count of three, where I'm going to remove the top. Where do, where do we remove the top? Yeah, how do you want us to do I'm it? A, I'll do, we'll remove the top. Okay, and then and what then do we do? And then you guys are going to put the, turn on the torch at the top of it. Top. All right, we've never done this. Do we press, do we two. fire it down or straight? Uh, you're going to just put it right across the top of the surface. Top, okay. okay. Ready? Good luck, Here we Cal. go. It's, oh, by the way, the reaction's going to be very fast and kind of loud. So okay. if you don't okay. like loud sounds, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> He's right, it's a lot of build up in a short burst, but, but powerful, Bob.